Oh, long time no here, guys and girls. How are you? Well, it's been a been um, disappeared for a fair while, fellas. I'm really, really apologise. Um, the last um, probably I don't know six months or so, I've been on a pretty amazing journey uh, spiritually and also uh, personally. Um, I'm going absolutely amazing, everyone. Um, still have had my antidepressant medication, so I gave all that up around probably seven or eight months ago. So I am totally chemically free of all my uh, medication and everything now, guys, and I'm going absolutely amazing. I don't even feel depressed or anxious now. Um, so I was taking uh, Effexor, um, I think for 450 milligrams a night and also Xanax when required and I just ditched it fellas like I've said in my previous videos so I've done absolutely amazing and like I say guys I have become <laughs> quite spiritual as in um, I've kind of um, now accepted that God really does exist I know a lot of you people out there think I'm crazy I don't care I'm not a not religious or anything but I have accepted that um, definitely God does exist so yeah it's a long story guys one day I'll tell you about it um, how I believe a lot of it's got to do with the flat earth I'm now an official flat earther so basically I believe that the earth is flat it's not round we've been brainwashed by NASA and the American government and all of that and you know there's hundreds of thousands, millions of people who believe it, everyone's, you know, and NASA's just covered it all up and everything else like that. But I won't get into it, guys, because people are going to think I'm crazy, especially people in my hometown. Um, but, yeah, I'm also, I'd also like to apologise to everyone. People have sent me emails and all that kind of stuff worried about me. Um, yeah, I won't get into it, but, yeah, I really um, apologise to those people and appreciate everyone's concerns but I just needed a break from YouTube everyone um, basically I yeah um, it's kind of hard to explain guys but we had a really really cold winter here this year and it was just horrible just our every day was cloudy and it was just miserable and I kind of turned into a bit of a hermit and you know wasted six months um, you know, a lot of it's got to do with my journey of giving up my medication and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, but anyway, guys, here's my dreadlocks, 11 months today, so they're going pretty good. It's all 100% neglect, guys, untouched. Don't comb my hair. I'll, I'll wash it with baking powder, um, uh, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of uh, lemon juice sometimes couple of drops of eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty good, guys. So, like I say, 11 months today, exactly. So, we'll turn around. It, I've got a few up here on the on the sides. And it's pretty slow, guys. I've learnt so much to be really, really patient. Um, I'm not having much luck on this side of my hair. But I kind of like it anyway. I like the length, really happy with it. And anyway, we'll turn around. Hopefully, you can see it. So, I've probably got around 25 dreads so far, fellas. Probably got around 25 dreads at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with it. One thing I've, I was expecting to have a fully dreaded um, hair within a year, but I've learnt now that one thing you need to do with dreadlocks or growing neglect uh, natural or freeform dreadlocks is you just need plenty of plenty of patience, guys. You've got to get out of the habit of um, 
looking in the mirror all the time, seeing if they're growing and all that. you just got to basically forget about them and hope for the best. I've um, had a lot of shrinkage at the back, as you can see. Um, also 45 years of age, guys, so this is a bit of a... Um, not really a midlife crisis, but just something I want to do before I get older. My aim is to have them for at least five years, hopefully. There's been heaps of times, guys, throughout this journey um, that I felt like cutting them off. Um, but I know if I did that, I'd regret it straight away. Um, haven't really had any compliments from people, which is um, to be expected, I suppose. In um, Australia, country areas, people think that you're a bit of a feral, or you don't don't bath or wash and that kind of stuff. So, don't really get any um, comments about it. I have had more, you know, more negative comments than anything, as in like you know, funny looks, not negative comments, but just strange looks from people I'm talking to if I tell them about it. But anyway, it's my life, my decision, and. I um, definitely don't regret it guys and I love it so it's definitely one of the best things I've done for, for a long time so it's definitely been a, a really big journey for me everyone growing my dreadlocks and I can't wait for them to fully form hopefully in another year or so like I say I was expecting them to grow within um, you know fully form within a year but obviously not and i've got kind of thin hair i suppose i won't go bald maybe my 80s or my late mid 70s i might start going bald but i'm pretty happy with my hair being this length guys it's the longest i've ever had my hair i'm ex-army ex-navy and i've always had short hair so it's definitely one thing i love is just having long hair i think it's great so you know i really do like it um but yeah so all my subscribers guys i was hoping to upload a video by time i get to 5,000 subscribers but i'm nearly there i think another 10 10 subscribers but bear with me everyone i'm going to be back very soon i'm going up to the city soon i'm going to be buying a, a couple of new video cameras the phone I actually, also another reason I couldn't go onto YouTube is I couldn't afford to buy a new Samsung Galaxy phone. Um, so, so I've just bought this new Samsung Galaxy phone. It's my fourth Samsung Galaxy. Every other Samsung Galaxy phone I've had has, um, you know, been wrecked by my adventures, falling, falling in rivers and getting them wet. So this one's water resistant. I've all already driving yesterday I turned a corner going around 20 kilometers an hour and it slid outside off the dashboard of my car straight out the window onto the bitchman road and survives so thank god for that because I guarantee i cannot afford another phone also another thing i'd like to announce to my subscribers guys is i've given up smoking guess what i gave up smoking nearly five months ago guys and i honestly i'm not joking i saved about five thousand dollars four or five thousand dollars just by not smoking it's thirty dollars a packet guys so you work that out thirty dollars times five months every day it adds up to be a lot of money so i've saved four or five grand and that's how i managed to buy my new phone and a few other little goodies so so anyway guys stay tuned i'll be back very shortly i'm going to be doing a lot of different videos hopefully when i come back i'm still going to be doing the nature and metal detecting and um scrapping and all that kind of stuff i haven't scrapped for around probably six months uh, i just needed a rest from it but i'm going to start getting to my scrapping again probably early next year but anyway guys i'm going amazing Honestly guys, it's the best I've ever felt in my life. There's been a few days where I felt a bit flat Like even today I woke up and I felt a, a little bit flat um, Not not depressed or anxious, but just flat not you know feeling good in myself mentally um, But yeah, honestly, it's the best thing I ever did by giving up that poison Effexor and um, Xanax I still um, And yeah, I'll never ever 
go back onto antidepressant medication again, guys, because it's poison, you know. I don't want to be into my 70s and start getting dementia and um, <clears throat> Alzheimer's disease because of this poison, what these doctors prescribe willy-nilly. So, stay tuned, guys. I've got heaps more to tell you. I'm going really good. I've cleaned up the front of my yards. So the front of my house looks absolutely beautiful now. Um, and, yeah, I'll continue on in the very near future. And also, yesterday I started taking some nice drone videos around my area. So I'm going to be doing some nice drone videos coming up soon around my area and heaps of other stuff. So, appreciate it, guys, and thank you so much for your patience. The guys who, this my subscribers who stuck with me, and to all my new subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. And, yeah. Hope you like my dreadlocks guys, 45, if you're in the same kind of boat as me, just grow them guys, I love it, it's the best thing ever I've done, so I'll give you one more look so I can check it out myself. And one thing also guys, I've got this grey streak here, blondie grey streak, that's a natural grey streak. So I really like that. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.